Okay, guys, so um, last night we were looking at open guard and uh, transitioning from close guard to open guard, and then uh, um, we showed you the control and the pressures that we were using, and then we showed you how to do it. So, just linking this, give you a little bit of game. Um, although we did cover this when we played the close guard message, we're going to show you how to transition from close guard to break open the guard and get to a, a safe position. It's called headquarters position. When I get there, I'm going to be neutralizing a lot of his open guard game, okay? And then his grips will dictate what pass I do. So, again, just from when we were playing close guard, um, I'll be looking to make my grip on his balls, okay? Um, I'm on the balls on my feet, as I want to be staying postured as high as I can. So, again, this here um, isn't stop with carpals, knees towards the chest to break my posture. This here isn't what's keeping me up. Car breaks my posture, I'm lifting my hips, I'm engaging my hips. This here is for when he tries to sit up, keeping him down with this. Okay, so it's position. So, he guards his weight on his and he has his grip. My goal obviously is to break his posture, so I'm pulling with my knees. Car is lifting his hips. Okay, again, um, just to go over some basic details, he wants both the pals because if he only has one lapel, I can possibly get this and break, um, get his arm dragged across, and then I can possibly hit arm bars and stuff. So it makes sense to get um, um, two lapels. And he wants his elbow turned to the outside because if it's bent in like this, I can just grab his lapels, pull him down, play the game. So, we also talked about opening the guard from our knees. But I, I prefer standing in this guard. So, again, I get my grip. If Carl um, has this grip in my lapel, I'll obviously be looking to strip that first. If, if it's deck has got the grip in the lapel, I won't strip it, but I can make a brace here. So again, once I get that grip, I'm leaning to my side, standing up, okay, get my elbow in, pressure, 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 pressure. Once I open his guard, okay, I'm dropping with my knee into the back of Carl's knee and I'm driving all the way forward. My right hand is going to get a, a grip on the lapel, so I'm closing off, making a wall, if that makes sense. So again, one more time. Have my grips here. Maybe he hasn't got the lapel grip, so it makes sense for me to control the side that I'm going to step up on. Because if I don't control this and I step up, or this is sweep. Got it here a bit of swing underneath. Yep. Go back. So from here, I want this. So when I have the grip, and again I'm not leaning forward, because if I lean forward to stand up, he'll be pulling me with his knees. Side. As I stand up, I let go with this grip and I tuck the elbow in. The reason I tuck it in, options to Oma Plata and Armbar and Triangle and all that. Okay. So, again. Grip. Here. You mean. Step up. Push, push, push. So the second I push, I'm dropping my knee into the back of Carl's knee here. Okay. Get the grip. Okay. So I'm closing up his Dela Heva hook. On my left hand, I'm grabbing the pants here. Okay. This is called headquarters position. Okay. The good thing about it is I'm closing down a lot of Carl's open guard game. Okay. So we're just going to end the move there. Okay. Getting to there is maybe the difficult part. So again, from close guard, throwing lots of variations here, lots of bit later. Again, from here, if Carl has the cross grip, don't stand up in their guard, because he has that waiter sweep. So if he's got this grip and I just stand up, okay, he has that waiter sweep. Let he break that grip. So from here, Swim my hand inside, strip it, and then I'm just going for that guard pass again. Okay, up, 
pressure, pressure, pressure. Let me get to my safety position again. Um, headboard position. Or, here. Target's that grip, that cross grip, here. Can't strip it, so I'll look for the other sleeve. So I have two sleeves. Okay? Let's put my eyes on his chest. Up, and I step up. I need to make sure now I don't hold this one as before. You can hit the waiter sweep again from there, but when I'm down. So from there, I have to switch grips. Does that make sense? And when I push, headquarters position. Let's just finish in that headquarters position. Okay? Talk a wee bit about it in the next in the next move. So I'm driving my leg in, I'm kind of like at a 45 degree angle here. Okay, I've got my grip on the key. I get my shin into the back of the car, so I'm nearly trying to put his knee in his chest. I get the grip on the lapel, I make that frame. Remember um, on Tuesday night, last night we were talking about that open elbow concept. We're looking to attack the Omakata. I can't have cards foot in here, stretching me out. Open elbow, he's gonna be attacking it all day. So from a passing perspective, I'm gonna be like this. I'm just kind of squatting down here. So this is called headquarters position. We're gonna finish that. Okay, so one more time. A lot of variations there, guys, but if you haven't done it before, just stick to this one, okay? Just pull it in, knee, step up, push, push, push. Up here, headquarters position. Okay?